Hi and welcome to our lesson on an introduction to inverse operations. We will be looking at converting a division calculation into two multiplication calculations. The examples that we will use will involve our times tables. Multiplication is the inverse of division and division is the inverse of multiplication. Inverse means opposite, so multiplication and division are opposite operations. Here's an example. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. A large number divided by a smaller number equals another smaller number. We want to write this as a multiplication. When we multiply two smaller numbers times together to make a larger number. So the largest number must go here. The largest number is 10. Here we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll have 2. And so 5 can go here. 2 times 5 equals 10. There is another way that we can write this division as a multiplication. Again, two smaller numbers multiply together to equal a larger number. The largest number is 10, so it must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll have 5. And so 2 must go here. 5 times 2 equals 10. The two multiplications that we have made are 2 times 5 equals 10 and 5 times 2 equals 10. In both calculations, two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. Here's another example. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. A large number divided by a smaller number equals another smaller number. We want to write this as a multiplication. Two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. The largest number is 18 and so it must go here. Here we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll write 6 here. And so 3 must go here. 6 times 3 equals 18. Let's look at the second way that we can write this as a multiplication. Two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. The largest number is 18, so it must go here. In this first space, we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll have 3. And so 6 must go here. 3 times 6 equals 18. The two calculations that we have are 6 times 3 equals 18 and 3 times 6 equals 18. As long as we have two smaller numbers multiplying together to make a larger number, the order of the two smaller numbers doesn't matter. Here's our final example. 72 divided by 8 equals 9. A large number divided by a smaller number equals another smaller number. We want to write this as a multiplication. Two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number, so the largest number must go here. 72 is the largest number. Here we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll have 8. And so 9 must go here. 8 times 9 equals 72. Let's look at the second way that we can write this as a multiplication. Two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. So 72 must still go here. Here we can have either of the two smaller numbers. This time we'll have 9. And so 8 must go here. 9 times 8 equals 72. The two multiplications that we have are 8 times 9 equals 72 and 9 times 8 equals 72. 
In both calculations, two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. Here are some questions for you to try. Write each division calculation as two multiplications. Pause the video now and have a go. Question 1. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. So 12 must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll have 4. And so 3 must go here. 4 times 3 equals 12. Again, 12 must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll have 3. And so 4 must go here. 3 times 4 equals 12. Question 2. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. So 35 must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll have 5. And so 7 must go here. 5 times 7 equals 35. Again, 35 must go here. This time we'll write 7 here. And so 5 must go here. 7 times 5 equals 35. Question 3. 36 divided by 9 equals 4. Two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. So 36 must go here. Either of the two smaller numbers can go here. This time we'll have 9. And so 4 must go here. 9 times 4 equals 36. Again, 36 must go here. This time we'll write 4 here. And so 9 must go here. 4 times 9 equals 36. Question 4. 96 divided by 8 equals 12. Two smaller numbers multiply together to make a larger number. So 96 must go here. Either 8 or 12 can go here. So this time we'll have 8. And so 12 must go here. 8 times 12 equals 96. Again, 96 must go here because it is the largest number. This time we'll write 12 here. And so 8 must go here. 12 times 8 equals 96. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.